Okay, coming in from the far left or right, take your pick, it doesn't matter. We're going off on a huge detour um, into more magical things. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on FTB Infinity Evolve Skyblock Expert Mode. Did I say all of them? I'm not sure. But anyway, so, uh, I was talking to you guys last time about the, the incredible lag that I have, and that's because of these guys right here. Now, I did actually go ahead and do this test right here. Particles are all the way on minimal, not just decreased, but minimal. And it still isn't helping as much as it should. I also got a suggestion to change these guys over into pulverizers, which would, uh, it might help. It probably will help a little bit just because of the fact that, um, like they, <laughs> what, what are you trying to say, Zo? What are you trying to say, man? Get it out. Get it out of, yeah. Just because the pulverizers don't have moving parts, these guys do. These guys are moving, so it would help a little bit, but I don't think that's the root cause. I think it's because of these guys right here. They they send out so many particles, and they completely disregard this setting, apparently. Because even if I put it on all, it still shows the same amount of particles. They don't listen to that setting at all, so it's kind of terrible. Now, it did seem like it helped a little bit. But it wasn't like an extreme holy crap amount. It was just kind of meh. So now we have these guys. They're going like super quick apparently. I didn't know they went that fast. But they do apparently. That's pretty cool. Now I wanted to think. Of, I, I wanted to think. No. I was thinking about something else. And that we're eventually going to start running out of power. Because what we got to do first and foremost. Is that we actually need. Also I haven't been AFKing. I didn't AFK at all. How much of this. We have 1500. We're okay-ish. Let's see how many alloy smelters we can make. Because we need to start converting all these other guys. Alloy smelter. We can auto craft these guys already. So let's see if we can make like 10 of them. We can! I can't believe we can actually make 10 of these guys. That's pretty crazy. I like it. Can you scroll up? Yeah, there's nothing missing, right? We only need 315 redstone. That's the biggest resource that I'm worried about. Everything else I don't really care too much about. And yeah, that's pretty good. That, mm -hmm, okay, I like it, I like it. Oh, we do have 10 of these guys, which they're basic though, so that's fine. We don't have to worry about that too much, because that doesn't really take too much time. The rest of these guys seem pretty good, actually, so we're going to go ahead and do that. No crafting CPUs are available. What are you crafting now? Did I already start crafting one? Wait, what? Two craft. Where's my two craft? Scheduled five. What? When did that happen? Did I start this already? When did I start this? Whoa, 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 whoa. How many did I... I don't remember doing this. Did I do... I don't, I don't remember that at all. But anyway, I was thinking about it. We're eventually going to need a lot more power. We're probably coming close to using all of our power. Uh, and the reason I say that is because if we go over to our power situation over here... Uh, before, whoa, watch it, watch it, put on the hover mode, there we go. If we go into here, before, I could charge this guy, because he does have an IO amount somewhere. I don't know what it is. Well, this guy actually has the IO amount. It has max input or max output is 25,000 R for tick, which isn't a huge amount. It's really not. I mean, we've got 25 million stored, and it is staying topped off, so that's pretty good. But if we charge this guy, it does go down by a lot so we can actually see what we're above when, once this is done being charged we can see what like in the positive how much in the positive we are and there it is so we're positive 6,000 which is it's quite a bit I mean that's a lot of RF per tick but it's not going to sustain us for long the more machines we add like 10 alloy smelters for example that might drag it down especially when we put the uh, the tier 3 capacitors in them to speed them up like a lot so that will be a thing. Also, I haven't touched our wings in forever. But now we can do auto craft and we can check those out too. Oh yeah, shift is uh, not sprint in this game. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we can go up. Let's go check out this other thing. There we go. I'm here. Ow, my legs. So we have our trophies here. If you look to your left, we have all of the trophy room and we haven't gotten any of the trophies. What are the other trophies anyway? I'm curious. I know there's like a whole bunch of them in here. Um, what do we go to to see that? I don't remember. Skyblock. That's what. Oh crap! I passed it. Nah, nah, nah. 
here here it is okay so here's all of our things here that we can kind of zoom out a little bit we got it's done it's over complete all the other other achievements it's done it's over <laughs> I want to get to this one I really do I don't know if we'll be able to get there but I want to get there I am become death destroyer of worlds crafting a draconic chest chest plate I want to do that too phenomenal cosmic power itty bitty living space Sure, why not? I could fill up my bathtub with this thing. Yeah, you could yeah, you probably fill up the world with this thing considering it's a creative tank. <laughs> why don't you walk across my swimming pool? And <laughs> pick up a pick up a creative monopole. So I guess that's a crafting recipe you have to throw on the ground or something. Uh, hello from the other side. Craft an elven gateway core. That's cool. Will not help you dodge bullets. Pick up the runic matrix. Didn't I do this? Oh, I did do that. It says taken on it. See? It's like magic, superpowered diamond. It's like a magic, superpowered diamond. Pick up and charge a tune stone. You should leave this activated. Pick up a bound sword. Is this a helmet? We did that one too. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. We got a few of them. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. So we got the AE2 stuffs and the, uh, the other like induction smelter and all that good stuff. What doesn't kill you can be exploited for science. For science. Yeah, so no, it's good. It's good. We got a, we got a bunch of achievements in there. We got to go grab. Um, also, I got a couple of, couple more challenges uh, to, to do in this series. And I'm not sure when I'll be able to get to them. I know one of them I can kind of do on the way. And, and to the to person who commented, um, I, I, I love the idea of challenges. I like the community giving me challenges. It doesn't mean I'm going to do them. But it's cool to see them. Even if I don't do them, it's interesting to see what kind of challenges you guys come up with. It's pretty cool. Um, now, I, I do like to do the ones I can. Now, that doesn't mean bombard me with challenges. It doesn't mean that does that's not what it means. It just means that uh, when I do get a few, then I, I want to try to accomplish them. Now, challenge number one, which I can start breaking some of this stuff down too. Challenge number one is to uh, auto-craft every machine you use. I believe is is what it was. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it was. Um, and basically, so all of the alloy smelters, we've already accomplished that. The machines we use, we would have to auto craft all of these guys. We would have to auto craft all of these guys. Um, every single machine that we use, the soul binder and this guy and whatever the crap. What are you? Your rolling machine? Sure. I think we've used you before, so we'd have to auto craft it. Which isn't a terrible thing. I mean, auto crafting is really, really cool, and I love the idea of auto crafting. Um, we'll end up doing that at some point anyway, more than likely, just because I have no idea how or when I will expand. So having that stuff auto crafted is a good idea, but at the same time, I don't know when I'm gonna start going backwards uh, to figure this stuff out. Like we've already used what's a machine we're not gonna have many of, like these guys right here. These guys, we are really, well, actually, no, I'm probably going to go ahead and overhaul these as well. Maybe the rolling machine. Fine, the rolling machine. We only need one rolling machine, ever. Maybe not, but I'm just, as an example, let's just say I'm only ever going to have one rolling machine. I would still have to put a recipe in for it because I've used it. Uh, and that's one of the challenges. It's not really a big deal, I guess, because it's, it's, I mean, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's an interesting little concept for sure. Uh, and... I don't know when I would go back to get all of those single use machines and actually make recipes for them. So I might end up missing something, which is probably my only real worry. Why am I, I don't want to break the floor. Stop missing with your pickaxe thing. Stop doing that. That's not smart. There we go. Um, but now challenge number two is to automate the creation of and killing of the ender dragon. Now, there's a way to do it. Now, this is not a 1.9 mod pack. This is a 1.7 mod pack. If we take a look at uh, the Ender Dragon, does it pop up? You're an Ender Drone. Lavender Drone, because it has Ender in it. At the end of Lavender, it has Ender. Um, I don't know how to spawn in a dragon. I don't think you can catch him in like a safari net or anything. I don't think that's a thing that can happen. I could try it just to see for, for funs and giggles, but it's still probably not that way. So maybe I'd have to do a different spawning method, like maybe the syringe. I know there's a thing where you kind of suck the DNA of a creature into a syringe and you use that to spawn more or something like that. I, I could be way off. I've never used it before. I've never used that mod ever, so I don't know exactly how it works, but that's a concept. Um, 
I think that's the concept. So uh, that could be how to do it. But anyway, um, so those are a couple of the challenges. And I want to be able to get to those. I just don't know when that will actually happen. Uh, especially if we keep expanding and I keep lagging, there's no guarantee I will actually get to the challenges before I'm done and feel comfortable enough to actually try them. But if we notice our power situation, what I want to do, I somehow got way sidetracked. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did happen. But I was talking about these guys right here. Now these guys are interesting little, little things. Now these are from immersive engineering, which I absolutely hate that mod. Okay, I, I can't say I hate it. I like the concepts behind the mod, but I feel like the not, the mod needs to be a lot more stable before it's actually usable. I'll say it that way. It needs to be so much more stable before it's actually something that is usable uh, for, for mass power transfer. Like their cables need to work better. Uh, some of the other stuff just doesn't work quite how as well as I feel that it should, uh, but it needs to, it needs to be looked at for sure. But these guys right here aren't a big deal. There's no moving parts or anything. They're just thermoelectric generators. And basically one side is hot, one side is cold, and it generates electricity based on how much of a difference there is between the temperatures of the two. So we have something that's incredibly cold. I forget what it is, like packed ice or something. I think it's packed ice. Because uh, water or ice melts and then water turns into stone, which is kind of weird, actually. It's an interesting little concept for this stuff. But, yeah. So, we'll have to kind of... We have to automate the creation of this liquid, automate the creation of this liquid, and automate the creation of the thermoelectric generators. Because... You see how big this metal area is? This factory-like area? If we're growing up... I mean, we haven't taken a sky look at our base in a quite a long time, and it looks pretty daggone good. So those of you who joined in uh, somewhat recently, here you go. Here, here's a sky look. Here, here's the sky view. But you see all of this stuff right here. Now, those of you who have been with me for a long time know that I love to go big. I like to go beyond big. And considering this is something that I don't believe will lag out anything, uh, at least not to any extreme degree at all, I want to make all of this surrounding area this. I think we will have plenty of power and be well on our way to the challenge that we were given by somebody else to get to uh, like one, uh, 1 million RF per tick or something like that. I think... I think he actually said like 1 billion RF a tick, but I'm saying 1 million because 1 billion is just astronomically difficult to get to. It's possible. It's totally possible, but I think that's even too far for me. So we're going with 1 million. So we'll probably be there. I don't even know how to measure that much. Probably a draconic energy storage and we'll see how, we'll, we'll, we'll see how fast it goes up or something. We'll have to measure it some way. But for now, I want to go ahead and actually get these guys auto-crafted so we can slowly increase our power output whenever the heck we need to. We can say, I want uh, one thermoelectric generator, and you know we'll have to automate the packed ice, and we'll have to automate the creation of this stuff. I think this stuff is packed ice. You're packed ice, right? Yep, you're packed ice. Okay, good. Yeah, so we'll have to do all that stuff, and I'll have to see about doing that. But uh, the first thing is the thermoelectric generator, and we want to get a pattern for that, and we want to see about making a bunch of them. And I don't know how, how expensive they are. I went to the wrong side. I am getting so much lag, and it's really kind of driving me crazy. I broke down so much stuff as well, so we need to put all this stuff away. I don't need any of you anymore. Go away. Go away. You're clogging my inventory. I need some inventory room. All right, so let's go to the thermoelectric generator this guy what do you need ooh endurium we have Con constantan we'll have to create a recipe for that we'll have to create a recipe for this guy which uh, aluminum no problem refined iron we already have that so that's not a big deal lead block we'll have to make that recipe but still not a problem and blocks of red oh one block of redstone and treated wood planks this is going to be a difficult one i don't know uh, I know there's a recipe for it, but I'm not sure if it will work because it requires a bottle of uh, creosote oil, which is a little bit tricky. I don't know if the bottles are, are able to be auto-crafted. I don't know if the filling of them, I'll have to, that's going to be a difficult one to actually get to. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. And then this guy right here, the high voltage coil, 
Yeah, steel, more refined iron, and treated sticks. Okay, we'll have to get a bunch of these recipes going. So I'm going to go ahead and see about getting these guys hooked up. We're going to see what, how far we can get with this guy in this episode, and I'll see you back in a bit. Wait, oh no, there's a new, um, um, I'll see you back here in a second thing that I'll, I'm, I'm saying. I'm basically, I'm saying, see you soon. Okay, coming in from the far left. We're right. Take your pick. It doesn't matter. We're going off on a huge detour um, into more magical things, which I know a lot of you are probably happy with just because we've been going on the technical side of things for a pretty long while in order to get... Here's... Okay, you ready for this rabbit hole? Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Let me... Let me sit pretty. Oh! Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Come on. There we go. Now we're sitting pretty, okay? In order to get the thermoelectric generators, let's investigate. Thermoelect you. Mm-hmm. First, in order to get this, I, I went down the first item. We have to go all the way down, all the way down, in order to get the treated sticks. Now, remember, I told you the treated sticks. I'm trying to go fast so I don't waste too much time. But remember what I told you, that the treated sticks are going to be the problem. This is going to be a big deal because these are not too easy to get. Now, the reason they're not too easy to get is because you need the creosote oil. Creosote oil comes from the coke oven. But the coke oven is so epically slow. We want to overproduce. We want to go so fast with this stuff that it's crazy. So we're going to take the other route and get the creosote propolis, which gives us 500 per, and we can get that from bees. Yeah, this is where the magic part comes in. So we'll go down into the bees. We need to get the tar comb, which means we need the tarry queen, and we have to go to the mutatron, do this and this. In order to get the distilled princess, we go over it to do this and this, blah, 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 all the way down the bee rabbit hole that we have to do anyway. Bee breeding, that's cool. That's an interesting thing, and I don't know anything about it yet. I'm not a big bee person. But I know it is an entire possibility. You go all the way down. You eventually get to the common queen, which I don't know how to get yet. Here we go. Here's the common queen. Uh, so we have to do the Mutatron, which is meh. But before we can even do that, we have to go in a different direction because in order to start with bees, if we go straight to, we can't even go straight to the industrial um, apiary, right? If I do this guy right here, what we need are power modules. The only way to get power modules is to get these guys infinity combs into a centrifuge to get these guys in the first place so we have to go down and get the bee produce before we can get the industrial version so we need to get a regular apiary if we check out take a look at the regular apiary we need the impregnated casing which means we need this stuff and the seed oil so we need to get the seed oil Okay, so then we have to get the seeds. We don't have a steady source of seeds except from down here. Except we do have a harvester and a planter that is capable of planting and harvesting a much, 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 much larger area. I was told that this goes up to, um, I think it's a radius. Like if we take a look, hold on, let's see this upgrade we have in here. This guy right here, oh, and it's full. I gotta find a way to dispose of this. So I might need a sludge boiler too, just be, just to get rid of it. I could void it though. I don't really need the sludge, and I don't need anything I get from sludge. So I'll probably just void it out using a buildcraft pipe or something. Those are usually pretty easy to get. So I'll probably end up doing that. Um, but maybe not though, just because the void pipes are... Ugh, I hate void pipes. I'll use a void tank and a transfer node or something. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna get rid of that. Don't worry about that. But it's a radius increase of 11. Now... The harvester and planter start at a 3x3, three three, right? So a radius, that means it's adding 22 because it's a radius. You double the radius to get the full diameter of the thing. And the radius is uh, 11, so you have 22. Plus the 3 is 25. So we are capable of doing a 25x25 25 25 area. Currently, we're using a very, 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 very small subset of that, which means we can do two things. One, we can bring our seeds up from down there and get regular seeds from the wheat all automatically, which is perfect. It's exactly what we want to do. And we can go ahead and get some jungle trees. I'm going to see how well it works. If it completely breaks everything, then it completely breaks everything and we'll have to move it around. But for now, I like that idea. And we need to get a whole bunch of seeds and going into our system. I'm going to have to set up a friggin' thing for wheat and seeds so that way we don't overpopulate our system with those. 
and as well as these guys as well. But I'm going to go ahead and set this up off camera. I just wanted to bring you in and let you know that it needed to be done because this is kind of be... It, it'll be a bunch of boring stuff. I have to play down a whole bunch of dirt and a whole, put in a whole bunch of things into a pattern. I'll show me. I'll show you me setting it up. I can't speak today. I'll show you me setting it up in the first place. But for right now, I'm just gonna build out this 50, uh, 25 by 25 and kind of reconfigure everything and put everything in the right place how it's supposed to be. Because we're gonna need a little more conduits and everything. Uh, but let me go ahead and do this, and I'll see you back in just a little bit, I guess. Oh wait! See you soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is quite the uh, quite the adventure. Um, yeah, I, uh, I don't have enough dirt. I need to get more dirt. So that was another part of the rabbit hole I had to go down. But it was it was kind of crazy. And you see that it is completely messed up right now because uh, I changed the organization around. I, I plucked it up. I put it back down. I do have the void pipe on here, which surprisingly enough doesn't need any RF in order to extract the fluid. The sludge is coming out. It's fine. It's it's gone. We don't have to worry about it at all, really. So it's it's good to go there. I don't know exactly why. Maybe this guy ejects it out the top. Uh, maybe that's what happens, and that's pretty cool. It's, like, perfect. I accidentally put it on... Well, I didn't accidentally put it on the top, but it was just coincidence that I put it on the top if that's the direction that the sludge is, is like, plucked out of there. I don't know, but... I do know that these guys right here, this is one heck of a spawning platform as well, but uh, yeah, no, it's going. I mean, we do have some wheat and everything. We don't, I, I also didn't know that you didn't have to till this stuff. The planter takes care of all that for you. It tills it. I don't know if it's like watered or whatnot. Ugh, get out of your spice, stupid spice. Jump after me, you stupid. Come get me. There you go, dummy. All right. Anyway, but yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. They're growing. It's working. They'll, you see it, it'll fix itself as more trees grow and stuff. It'll kind of repopulate and, and fix whatever the crap is going on with this thing. But uh, it'll, be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll get everything that we need. We'll have the jungle. We'll have the rubber. And we'll have the seeds. So that's epic. That's perfect. And everything is gonna... Yeah, everything will grow. But... This did take a huge amount of time. I know the episode's gonna be a little, 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 little short. Uh, and I do apologize for that. I know a lot of you do prefer the longer episodes. But that is about all the time I have for this episode. So if you did like it, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more, you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe. Comment, favorite, share if you like you want to. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Don't you dare throw a potion at me, stupid witch. I'll see you next time. Peace out, peeps. What? Something, something's up with that. I can't go that way. Uh, thing, you're wrong. Control console. You're lying to me. I don't understand. Where do you want me to go? Is there an up place or down place or something? Cause you're telling me to go into that room. Oh, I need to go down, apparently. Is there a down place over here? There is, Walker, look at you.